Capcut might be in trouble again. With all the talk about potential bans, just like last time, many creators, including me, are wondering what's gonna happen. And if Capcut disappears, what's the best alternative? Well, I've got you covered. I recently came across Filmora Wondershare and it might be just perfect CapCut replacement. It's packed with powerful editing features, easy to use and great for all types of content creators. In today's video, I will walk you through a few Filmora features and compare them with the ones in CapCut. So let's dive in. First comparison I would like to show you is about the music. If you edit in Filmora, you can add a music from their library or you can create one with AI. Click here on choose tag and then you can add tags from Mutab. Let's choose Sentimental, Themes, I'll choose Cinematic, or Genre, I'll go with the Pop. You can then go to Settings and set the duration of the music and number of generated music. Then hit Generate and wait for process to end. Let's see what we got. I like the third option so I will download it and drop it down to the timeline. Cut the music length to your video. If you go to CapCut, you can see that we only have music library option and no AI music option. Similar story is with sound effects. I have this light storm sky here and if we go to audio, AI sound effects, we can write a prompt for our sound effect and when you click generate, it will generate a sound effect that we need for our video. I will choose this third one. In fact, we can use two of them. In CapCut, we again do not have AI option to create sound effects. The next is Pro Key Framing. There is a cool feature in Filmora that CapCut doesn't have, which is Pad Curve and I want to show you what exactly that is. So I will choose a background and a sticker, which is this spinning earth. I will resize the earth and create a path for it with position and scale keyframes. If we play it, you will see that the earth movement is linear and not natural. But if we click path curve and earth, you will see the whole path that we created. But to make movement more natural, we need to right click, keyframe type and choose curve. This way we will curve our keyframe points. We can then also adjust those handles to get the right shape we want. In CapCut we do not have option to see the path of our object. We only can reshape our keyframes. Fourth comparison is replacing the surfaces with pictures or videos. And in Filmora we have cool feature called Planner Tracking. We have a video with billboard across the main road here. Go to AI Tools and click on Planner Tracking. We'll choose Auto option, then we can adjust the rectangle to any surface that we want. That magnifying glass gives us a great idea where to place it. When you cover the desired surface, just click on start and wait for the planner tracking to end its process. When it's finished, drag down the video or picture you want to put on a marked surface. Highlight the main clip and go to link element. If you click on it, you will see the name of the file, you just drag it down and click on it. Your file is now on the billboard, but as you see, it's a bit distorted. We can fix that by going to basic, highlight the clip and unlock the locker here. Then you just have to play around with those scale and position axes to get the right shape of the video. 
When you are satisfied, highlight the main clip, go to AI tools, and if you want, you can turn off that rectangle by clicking on the eye icon here. And there you go! In CapCut there is no planner tracking option, but you can only change the green screen surfaces. The next feature that I really like and is missing in CapCut are audio visualizers, and you can see the one behind me. I found this background video in Filmora library and I added music. So if I go to effects, audio effects, we have audio visualizers option. You can choose from many different ones, but let's try this one. On the right side you can set different settings like radius, position and others. Cool, right? Let us also try that audio wave here. You can move it left and right, up, down and you can even tilt it. The last comparison is 3D effect. In CapCut we only have option to rotate it left and right, but there is no option to tilt it, to flip it up or down. But there is a different story in Filmora. If you go to effects, Boris effects, stylize, then find the one called BCC cast shadow. Drag it onto the clip and click that star icon here. Go to the right, click on image plane and it will open the setting sliders. If we go to this slider it will rotate the picture left and right. If we go to rotate X slider it will tilt the picture up or down. If we go to rotate Z slider it will rotate the picture like this. So let us make that 3D effect. Having playhead in the beginning Click keyframes at position, rotate X, rotate Y and master scale. Set the sliders as you like. Then move the playhead to the end and change the sliders. At the end we get this cool 3D effect. Hope you find this tutorial useful and that you have a great alternative if something happens to CapCut again. Take care and see you in the next one.